Sa video natin ngayon, let's try to solve this problem. Recently lang, last November, lumabas tong item na to sa board exam. And so that's why we will discuss this. Now we have the two lumbers, 75mm by 200mm each, which are connected at right angles as shown dito sa figure natin. Now the lower lumber is simply supported. Itong lumber na to, meron tayong simple supports, hinge, saka roller. And then yung upper part daw is cantilevered. So this is a fixed support. Now if the allowable shear stress of the lower lumber is 1.1 MPA, uh, by the way, Itong shear stress na to, this refers to the horizontal shearing stress. And so gagamitan natin to ng uh, formula na VQ over IB. But since yung binigay naman is rectangular section, let's just use the horizontal shearing stress is 3V over 2A. Or para mas madali, uh, we can use 1.5V divided by A. Now we have to find the maximum uniform load in Newton per meter na pwedeng i-apply sa span natin dito sa upper lumber. Now we have to assume a roller support at the point of intersection uh, dito. This is for the cantilever beam. This junction acts as a roller support. So meron tayong reaction dyan. Uh, later ko na lang draw. And then you also have to disregard the weight of the lumbers. And then yung hint dito is we'll actually use consistent deformation or superposition. Kasi yung deflection dito sa upper part must be equal to the deflection dito sa lower part. And so we can actually apply three formulas for this item. Now, dito tayo sa checklist, meron akong formulas para sa superposition. So, yung magagamit natin is ito, uh, 1A, for the deflection of the upper part. So, copy natin. Yan. And then, we can also use uh, itong formula na to. And then, also this one. For the simply supported beam, meron tayong concentrated load sa gitna. So, magagamit natin to. Now, sir, where is this for? Para to sa cantilever beam, uh, dito sa upper part. So, we actually have this fixed support and then ito yung beam natin and then we have a uniform load which is W. So diba, this load causes the beam to deflect downward. So ito na yung deflection natin. This is, let's say, deflection 1 due to the distributed load. However, diba, uh, dito sa point of intersection, meron tayong reaction dito. Kasi itong beam na to, nakapatong lang kasi yan sa pangalawang beam natin. So let's just say this is the reaction at the midspan. Pero dapat mong tandaan na if this is an upward reaction para sa upper part, then dito sa lower part, this will be a downward concentrated load. So draw ka na lang, for the upper part, meron tayong reaction sa midspan. Now this is upward kasi yung reaction sa midspan, para yung roller support dito. And so this reaction will reduce the deflection dito sa upper part. And so the deflection that this will cause, since this is an upward load, magiging paganto. So this is our deflection too. And then finally, for the simply supported span, ito na yan. Meron tayong hinge, saka roller. And then dito sa gitna, we have the reaction sa midspan. So this is the reaction sa midspan. And then it acts opposite to this one. Kasi again, yung reaction dito sa free end ng cantilever beam, ito yung midspan ng lower part. So erase ko na lang, ito na lang yung titignan natin. And so meron din tayong deflection dito, which is paganyan. And then this is our deflection 3. Now by consistent deformation, yung deflection ng cantilever beam must be equal to the deformation ng simply supported beam. So we have, uh, diba, this will become the deformation 1 minus the deformation 2 due to this reaction will be deflection 1 minus deflection 2 is equal to this deflection. So this is deflection 3. Again, yung reaction sa midspan will reduce the deflection dito sa cantilever beam. While this is solely the deflection of the simply supported beam. Now since we have our general formulas, papalitan na lang natin. So for the deflection 1, we have WL to the 4th divided by 8EI. So this is WL to the 4th over 8EI. And then our deflection 2 will be uh, minus, again this is minus, Kasi upward kasi yung deflection. This will essentially reduce the deflection 1. So this is now our midspan. Again, we are just replacing P. And then times L cubed divided by 3EI. And then this is equal to the deflection 3, which is PL cubed over 48EI. Again, this is just a derived formula. So we have our midspan for this configuration times L cubed divided by 48EI. Yan. Let's just color this so that it will be more understandable. So diba, ito yung ano natin, W. Uh, by the way, yung L natin ay 8, saka yung X. So X is 8, this is now uh, 8 over 2 plus 8 over 2. Yung total span will still be 8 meters. Yan. Now first, let's look at what we can cancel. Diba, uh, all terms contain EI dito sa denominator. So we can actually cancel that. So wala na tong EI. 
saka ito, and then ito rin. And then our L is 8, saka ito, and then ito rin. So we have W times A to the 4th divided by 8 minus R midspan multiplied by 8 cubed divided by 3 equals R midspan times 8 cubed over 48. Now diba, we still have two unknowns kasi wala pa tayong R midspan uh, or yung reaction sa midspan. Na paano natin ito makukuha? Diba, we are given the maximum horizontal shearing stress. Again, we are not using the direct shear stress kasi mas malaki kasi yung horizontal shearing stress kesa sa direct shear stress. Kasi diba, meron tayong 1.5 dito. If we use the direct shear stress, it will just be V over A. So this is lesser because we are multiplying this by 1.5. Itong horizontal shearing stress. And so the next question that will arise is how can we solve the reaction sa midspan or the force dito sa midspan? Now diba, if we have a simply supported beam na mayroong concentrated load, our maximum shear will occur at the supports. And then diba, since this is at the middle, yung reaction natin dito sa ends will be half nito. So this is our midspan divided by 2 and also this one. Yan. And then this is our maximum shear. Ito kasi yung gagamitin natin dito sa formula ng horizontal shearing stress. So copy natin to. Uh, by the way, ipapakita ko na lang uh, why we are using this instead of this one. So now, let's try to solve the reaction at the midspan. So we have our horizontal shearing stress is equal to 1.1. So this is 1.1 equals 1.5 V in which our V is R midspan over 2. So R midspan divided by 2 over the area of the cross section. So this is, uh, we have a 75 by 200 cross section. So this is 75 mm times 200 mm. Yan. And so solving the reaction at the midspan, we have 1.1 equals 1.5 times x over 2 divided by the area which is 75 times 200. So our force will be 22,000. So our midspan equals 22,000 newtons. Now sir, what if nagkamali ako and then yung ginamit ko is yung direct shear stress? Ito yung mangyayari. Let's remove 1.5 kasi diba yung direct shear stress will just be force over area. Ito yung shear force uh, which is R midspan over 2 divided by the area. So press shift solve. Diba yung lalabas na load is larger, 33,000. However, ito kasi yung maximum shearing stress. So this will provide us with a more conservative value or the safer value. So ito yung explanation dyan. And so now, we will substitute this value dito sa equation natin. So this is now... 22,000 newtons, saka ito rin, 22,000 newtons, and then by the way, this is in meters, so 8 meters, 8 meters, saka ito rin. And so since our units are in newton and meter, our resulting unit for W will be newton per meter. And so solving W, we have x times 8 to the 4th over 8 minus 22,000 times 8 cubed divided by 3. And then this is equal to 22,000 times 8 cubed divided by 48. And so solving W, we have 7791.67. So W equals 7791.67. And then this is in Newton per meter. And so this is our answer. And so let's try to check if mag equal ba talaga yung deflection. Now let's just use a wooden section. So we have uh, this section. Uh, again, hindi to magmamatter kasi yung material ng dalawang beams are just the same. And then our cross section will be, di ba, our area is 75 times 200. So that's why this is 15,000. And then our I is BH cubed over 12. So 75 times 200 cubed over 12 it will give us this value, 50 million. And then our length is 8. And so let's first try to model itong top part. So diba, this is a cantilever beam. So lalagyan natin ng fixed support. And then we have a uniform load which is, this is actually 7791.67. Saka ito rin, 7791.67. But meron tayong roller reaction dito. Which is the reaction by the midspan caused by the second beam. So we have another load. This is now upward. So change natin yung sign. And then this is, uh, diba, 22,000. So 22,000. Yung deflection sa free end will be, check natin, this is minus 0 0.358. So minus 0 0.358 for the free end of the cantilever beam. And so let's try to check if the deflection will be equal dito sa simply supported beam natin. So change natin. Remove natin yung loads. And then this is now downward. And then andito na yan sa midspan. So this is at 4 meters. Yan. And then our support will be simple supports at each ends. So yan. 
Now, diba, yung maximum deflection sa midspan is equal to minus 0.358 also. So, this is 0.358. And so, diba, equal yung deflection ng dalawa. Which means that our process was correct. Thank you.